Hello and welcome friends to another episode of Vintage Fountain Pens. In this episode I have an iconic pen from the 1950s and we are talking about the Pelican 140 model in black. This is quite a nice model. I got it with its original package you can see we have a cardboard package and on it we have pelican gunther wagner made in germany and of course the model 140 and f the nib size this package comes also with its original papers but unfortunately they are written in uh, German so we have um, Pelican some instructions about how to fill the fountain pen with ink some instructions about carrying um, it in uh, flight and um, the warranty and uh, this leaflet appears to be also for mechanical pencils and um, ballpoint pens so this is the original papers that uh, came uh, with uh, it i will leave this uh, box on the side practically the pelican 140 is the successor of the pelican ibis and it was first produced in 1952 its production ended in 1965 so between 1952 and 1965 we have approximately 13 years of production for this fountain pen this model was produced in large numbers, in large quantities, but the most common one is the striped green variant. The other colors are less common. So I here have here the black color and the dark green color. And you must know that um, the most common version, of course, is the green uh, striped one. Well, there is the black version, there is the dark green version, the dark blue version, the grey version, the burgundy version or the red version, the black one with the chrome trims, the light tortoise and the light tortoise brown. And they also made uh, some uh, specific fountain pens, one is in yellow. It was a special order for uh, Continental Hanover in 1953. And there were also other versions for accounting firms and also unbranded uh, Pelican versions. And even a desk pen, uh, fountain pen made in Italy. This is my latest acquisition. It is the 140 model in black. I paid for it a quite reasonable sum, sum of money. I paid 270 lei or um, only 55 euros or 65 American dollars. And based on the characteristics of this fountain pen, I placed it uh, between 1954 and 1955. Of course, if you've watched my uh, all those reviews, you could uh, see the pelican in dark green, which is this beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. And uh, I believe that this was made also between 1954 and 1955. As uh, a characteristic of these fountain pens are the golden trims, and you can see the clip of the cap in this wonderful, wonderful classic Pelican big design. Of course, both of them on the top of the dome, they have 
stamped the Pelican logo. As you can see, the Pelican logo with cheeks. They are both piston fillers. They have uh, both a green ink window. I will show you the beautiful, beautiful names. They are both 14 carat names. And uh, they have a moderate amount of uh, flex, or let's call it semi flex. They are both made out of gold. And on the back, the classic Ebonite feed. Those are the fountain pens. This is the first dark green one. And my latest acquisition is this black one. And I have just for comparison other fountain pens from the 1950s. This is an interesting model, an Italian model called the Stilo 111 Oro. On um, the design, it resembles a Parker 51, but if you open it, you can see this opened nib and, of course, this interesting rounded ink windows. So, this is an Italian fountain pen from that period. I also have another German fountain pen. This time is the Mont Blanc masterpiece of or Meisterstück 146 from 1952. And I also have a Centro Pen Barclay model. And uh, this model was done in uh, Czechoslovakia in. Uh, the beginning of the 1950s it is all sterling silver a beautiful beautiful silver so if we put them side by side you can see that the german pelican 140 is of medium dimensions it is quite a nice fountain pen and I will leave the dimensions on the screen and after that we will do the writing sample. So for the writing sample I will leave aside those other fountain pens and I will take my notepad and try to do a little writing writing sample of course i have here the black pelican 140 and for the writing sample i think that um, a nice vintage ink would be appropriate so i have here this pelican 4001 from the 1980s in brilliant green and I will use it to fill our fountain pen before I will use it I will give it a little shake now I will simply open this fountain pen by the way you can see some deposits of water in the ink window but also a little defect of this product it was uh, hard used and um, it has this little let's say scratch on the ink window it's not a crack it's only a scratch i want to show you the piston so i unscrew the back of the fountain pen and we can see the piston moving and i must tell you that we have some residues of uh, ink and i hope that uh, the green ink would uh, not be affected of the previous uh, shade uh, color of the ink that was used so let's uh, show you i will emerge the fountain pen in the 
think. And now I will extract. And as you now can notice, the ink window isn't so uh, much visible, but uh, that um, scratch, you can see that it's still present over there. So after you use the ink, Please remember to uncap it to avoid little accidents. So this is the German fountain pen. Let's see if we could cap it. Yes, it pops quite uh, well. Let's give it a little zoom because I want to show you the writing sample. So this is a pelican. One hundred and forty between nineteen um, produced between nineteen fifty four and nineteen fifty five. Of course, it is made in Germany. Made in Germany, and it has a interesting fourteen carat five eight five F nib F four fine let's do a little zoom sorry and see how flexible this gold nib is it's quite uh, flexible but let's see some line variations i won't call it a steve nib but it's a semi-flexible nib semi-flexible let's test also how um, juicy it is it's quite a nice little juicy nib i love the fact that uh, the feedback is uh, minimal and i can tell you that it has a little uh, feedback but it is uh, not a problem for me and if you get used to it i think it would uh, be a really nice writing companion it uh, certainly holds a lot of ink for uh, this uh, piston type mechanism and it is quite quite a nice fountain pen and a nice addition to uh, my German vintage German fountain pen collection. I hope you've enjoyed this review. As um, always, I wish you to have a nice day. If you've uh, enjoyed this review, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel to support my activity i will leave you with this beautiful beautiful pelican 14 karat 585 nib a splendid nib and uh, by the way i told you that it has a large ink capacity so i will simply drop the ink back into the ink bottle Gently, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and that's it. So 25 little drops of ink is this capacity of this vintage beauty. Thank you for your time. And bye-bye.